audio. If you haven't heard it today, let me be the first person to tell you that I love you so very much. Hey girl. My beautiful Pisces, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week. Now, Pisces, I also do your weekly you versus them reading uh, that you can check out, which I'll put a link to over here if you'd like. Uh, but when it comes to any of my readings, Pisces, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, Pisces, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, Pisces, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it, Pisces. Now, uh, if you find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to let me know in the comments below and then also be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you do find a card that resonates because it does help out this channel a lot. And I am super appreciative of it when you guys take the time to do that for me, Pisces. And yeah, I want to know what card resonates with you and how because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. Now, Pisces, um, finally, I'm not here to make a decision in your life. I'm just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider uh, as you go out, go throughout your week. I'm not here to make a decision in your life, though, right? Uh, but with all that in mind, let's start getting into your reading. Oh, wow. <laughs> your overall energy that we have going on for you, Pisces, this week is the Wheel of Fortune as well as the World card. Now, something that is definitely coming out in my head right now, Pisces, is be sure that you don't get yourself stuck into cycles. That is something I want to put your, uh, put into your awareness for this week. Um, see what happens this week in terms of your social situations, in terms of your career, like everything. See all aspects of your life. See where it is you might be, um, falling into some cycles or some repeat patterns. So let's just use, for example, like, it's very much so like that, oh, I'll start, I'll start my diet tomorrow. I'll start my diet next Monday. I'll start my diet in the beginning of a fresh month. Stuff like that, right? They have this obsession with wanting to just start something fresh rather than um, just committing, rather than finally just uh, grabbing at the wheel and turning the wheels to your favor. You're just constantly in this like leaning over here. Maybe you have some good weeks on your diet and then other times there's just spiral over here, right? Now I use the example Pisces of like a diet, but it doesn't have to be a diet, obviously. That's more so just to uh, give you an idea of what it's trying, the message is trying to exude. Uh, the card that came out for you <laughs> is the White Raven Spirit, number 66, 12 equaling to 3 for numerology, trust and magic. So, hmm, I actually kind of want to figure out why this card is here. So let's pull, I'm whipping out a bunch of different cards for y'all, Pisces, because I kind of want to understand why this trust and magic White Raven Spirit is here for you. Um, maybe some of you Pisces have had dreams of a white bird. I don't want to uh, specify um, just a raven, right? Because white raven is really specific. <laughs> um, but I, I would say like a, maybe you guys seen, have seen birds uh, coming into your life a bunch recently, more so in dreams. Maybe you've seen some feathers. Um, the Fool card. Okay, now it's making a little bit more sense. Uh, so when you think about the White Raven spirit, Pisces, you think like, and it says trust in the magic. You think about why, like, what do you gain from trusting in the magic, right? Like, what? This is basically faith, having faith, essentially. It's like, why? You know? Then you have the Fool card <laughs> coming in as well. Uh, this is kind of like what happens when you trust in the magic, right? When you have faith, is this Fool. Because I always say, Pisces, with the Fool, a lot of people will identify the Fool as someone who is foolish, who is a little bit, um... What's the word for it? Just unaware of their surroundings and just like going with their passions, right? They're going forward, but they aren't paying attention to their surroundings. They're not aware that they might fall off that mountain, right? But the thing is, I argue the fool is actually the most intuitive person in tarot just because it's like this person is only able to be the fool because they have faith they are able to trust in that the spirit has them or at the very least they just trust that things are going to work out for them in some type of capacity pisces so it makes a lot of sense as to why you would have the white raven spirit because when you have faith you're more free to just do anything right you don't have problems turning the wheels of fortune to your favor you don't get stuck in those cycles anymore because it's like you finally have faith and you finally break free maybe that's how you break out of your cycles is fi by finally just having like this release and just being like you know what will be will be and you just start owning that full energy pisces but 
enough about that. Let's start getting into your energies now for this week, Pisces. Now I'm going to start with your career for my Pisces interested in career, and then I'm going to get into your social interactions, and then we will get into your general messages from spirit, Pisces. But let's start with your career. Start with your career now. Ace of Cups is a lovely card to have for your <laughs> career, honey, um, as your starting energy. So what does that mean, though? Ace of Cups is showing to me... <sighs> This could be talking about signifying, giving you a heads up of an opportunity coming, Pisces. Um, something that like an off, like a cup being offered to you that kind of like fills up your cup. Or maybe this would be like if you already settled in your job, Pisces, maybe you can anticipate some good happening this week. Now I know as like a reader, we will always say like, oh, expect maybe like a raise or expect whatever. But it could just be like a really just good work week in that things are just consistent. You may not deal with bumps in the road this week. Um... Or maybe this is just like an energy of like you just get like an extra gift, right? Maybe like your uh, boss like buys you lunch or like buy, gives you like a gift card or something. It doesn't have to be just in the grandiose like uh, raise because let's be real, Pisces, it's unrealistic for every Pisces to be getting a raise this week. Um, but really good energy overall. Let's start, start pulling some clarifiers now. See what else is up with it. The cards are just full. No, I can't take that many though. And these two? We'll do these two. Um, continue shuffling, though. <laughs> Interesting that this Page of Wands is coming out for you. Page of Wands and Five of Cups. Now, Pisces, this is getting an interesting message. I mean, I'm going to pull one more clarifier and then we'll also refer to the back of the deck before I get too much talking. Okay, so... Definitely, some I see something happening for you this week in terms of your career, Pisces. Really, really good, though. Because we have the Ace of Pentacles, and now as a tarot reader, when you see a bunch of Aces coming forward, as a tarot reader, you see this This symbolizes, like, kind of like the go-ahead with something, Pisces. So maybe if you've been tossing your mind around transitioning jobs, perhaps, is something I will, is the narrative I'll go into. Um, judgment card, back of the deck energy, transitioning jobs, just take that action and make that transition, right? If you're, if you're having an option or if you, there is already an option in your life, Pisces, I would fill up your cup more with the two aces. That's a sign of like a affirming yes. And also the judgment card. I'm seeing this as like kind of like committing taking action towards this kind of just like just put in your two weeks pisces now again before i continue on I'm not telling you to quit your job or anything like that i'm just telling you what i see through tarot and like what it represents it's up to you to figure out how you want to go about it for me personally if i was wanting to transition jobs i would like start putting a little bit more energy into the thing that would fill up my cup more but i'm not going to make that transition fully until um it's a little bit more settled in right but uh, it would make sense if you're wanting to transition, right? Because you had those cards talking about trust in the magic and that full energy where it's just like, just just do it. Page of Wands talks about like the new beginning. And this is why I do feel like oh, so some of you Pisces are considering uh, shifting careers or sh shifting perhaps, or maybe you're just wanting to go into something new, wanting to have more forward movement. Ace of Pentacles is letting me know though, is like you are... You kind of like you are you have to make the choice and you're making your situation how it is do you want to just continue work this nine to five job working that cubicle it's fine right because i still see things working out with this ace of cups uh but you have to be at peace with the decision that you make right with this ace of pentacles you have to kind of acknowledge that you're the one um that's the captain of your ship that's turning the wheel of fortune you have to be the one to acknowledge like where what cycles that you are repeating in your work life right if you really have this passion that you want to do you really have a passion for um dancing pisces you know maybe you don't quit today but maybe you choose to just like make your passion dancing like you're only your passion right but you kind of have to make that decision. Like when you make that decision, you have to be at peace with it, right? You don't want to be in this five of cups energy of like that woulda, coulda, shoulda. I wonder if I did this or if I didn't do that, right? Um, I feel like this is probably like the cycle that we're talking about in terms of your career. Maybe it's just like some weeks, can uh, I almost called you cancer, Pisces. Some weeks you're wanting to transition and you're really feeling motivated being like, okay, this is the week that I'm going to put in my two week notice and I'm going to start doing the, um, open up my own dance studio. And then... 
um, you just don't, right? You choose, you're just like, oh, wait a minute, but I want to make sure that my cups are filled. I want to make sure that I have that money, right? Be able to take care of myself. So you're scared of making that judgment call. But then you get in your feelings about it with that five of cups and you're just like, uh, <laughs> you know, be at peace, whatever decision that you make, Pisces. Because with those Ace of Pentacles and that Ace of Cups, it does confirm to me that you'll be happy with the choice. Like, there's no wrong choice, essentially. The only wrong choice is still being just stuck in this cycle where you're just, like, not making a choice. Or, like, unhappy with whatever decision that you make because you're just not committing to, like, the decision and just being at peace with it, right? Being that fool and just being like, you know what? It is what it is, right? It's, I made this decision. Can't back out now, right? Just make the best of it. So... Enough of that row, uh, Pisces. Let's start getting into your social interactions for this week. Oh my gosh. Two cards flew out for you. The Justice card and the Hanged Man. So for some of you, Pisces, you're... I mean, it doesn't have to feel like you're wronged in a situation, right? But this is letting me know of a situation of um, bringing justice something, bringing something to balance and not backing down off of it. Uh, which is kind of a very different energy from your career in the sense of where it's just like very passive, um, almost wishy-washy energy, but I don't mean any offense by it, Pisces, because we all have that with some aspect of our life. But so let's pull some clarifiers with that hanged man, because the hanged man is showing to me you're committing to something, you're putting your feet into the ground about bringing something into balance with your social connection. So maybe you're forcing some confrontation this week with someone that you love, Pisces, to... Um, just bring things back into balance. It does confirm to me. Uh, yeah, this is definitely something that you've had a history with, something that you've been, someone that you've been dealing with for a while. You do enjoy this person, Pisces. I do see you enjoying this person. You don't want to let go of them. Um, the clarifiers I pulled were the Knight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups is why I say you already know this person. Obviously, you would know this person. Um, you have a history with them and you, uh, because like, it's almost like Pisces, let's say that you've had like this one friend that you've had for a long time and it's just like, whenever you're around them, you just don't like their sense of humor, right? You, they're, they kind of just like, you know, they like that banter and you're just not about that banter. You're not about... Um, you know, maybe they're just, their sense of humor is a little bit more dark or just a little bit more rough where you're kind of like the butt end of the joke and you just don't enjoy it. And you've dealt with it for a long time with them, right? The Six of Cups, you just wrote it out with them, right? Even as like a little kid, you just grew up and it's just like, they, they haven't changed. That's how Billy Joe is. Billy Joe always just isn't a an asshole right and it's one of those things i feel like you're starting to get fed up by it with this i mean it's just like you know what billy joe may have been doing this for a long time now with me but it's time for a change because you're tired of feeling bad in this connection and you're not confronting them out of a place of being like oh i don't like you right you don't want to be with them anymore because this nine of cups comes in where you do enjoy their company but you just want to fix the problem Right, this Knight of Cups is just like you want to fix this problem with this Knight of Cups, mature them probably a little bit more, add some more stability into their, into their life with this Ten of Pentacles. You want you more so just want stability, you want consistency with this person, Pisces, and it's like a I like I really do enjoy this. I know I always say this with cards, but I really do enjoy this dynamic because it's just like you're doing something in the name of love. You're doing confrontation, which probably isn't comfortable for you in the name of love because you really just want this relationship to work out and you acknowledge that it's not going to work out unless you take action and really commit to it and just stick to your guns and just do it, really. So enough of that as well pisces let's start getting into your general energy of things to close off this reading see what other messages spirit has for you with the with this tower card honey uh let's see why this is empress card as well okay this is not nearly as bad now uh this is almost like a when I first saw this tower card, I'm like, I mean, if you know tarot at all, it's just like, do you really want to see that? But when you have this with the Empress, it's letting me know almost like death of an old way, Pisces. So death of like that old way where it's just like you constantly would tell yourself, being like, oh, next week I'll start my diet, next Monday, next new month, and whatever. You're done with that, right? You're just doing this away. You're putting a match to that old habit, that old cycle, and done. Because this Empress, you're growing. You are learning your self-worth and 
you're realizing what it is that you deserve and you realize perhaps like the cycles that you're putting yourself in this tower that you were in before just wasn't of service to you it wasn't really uh sustaining you in some type of way so i really do enjoy this a lot really beautiful intense reading for you pisces uh let's pull some more clarifiers though just to see if there's any other messages that we need to have for you pisces before we close this off cards just keep flying out for you okay good cards good cards though so hanged man following you <laughs> again so almost like pisces i like it's like stick to your guns right if you stick to your guns to having like this tower moment in the name of character development and in the name of growth right if you choose to like run like move on from things and move on from those cycles that are no longer servicing you and ready to finally just go forward you're going to get to your son which is the best card in the deck which is that happiness right but what you really need to do pisces is stick to your guns stick to your guns in terms of your work whatever it is that you want to do stick to your guns and commit to it and be at peace with it right be at peace with it in terms of your social connections uh pisces uh stick to committing to asking for more respect or committed to you know having this change whatever it is commit to at the very least having a conversation i feel with your person have a conversation because i feel like you'll be pleasantly surprised by how you will be received by them because again at the end of the day you're walking to, towards your son pisces back of the deck energy seven of swords yeah we're going we're doing away with this energy we're doing away with this overwhelmed this um energy of where you yeah i just feel like you're done just we're done just man like juggling a bunch right we're done putting things off and we're just finally taking action and just committing uh pisces which really good really good because you just get rewarded from it so pisces the reading that i have for you if you enjoyed this reading be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and then share my videos with a friend if you if you think they might be into my videos until next time pisces bye